I appreciate everybody uh, braving the elements and, and joining us here today. Certainly want to make mention and, and recognize what a special day it is, Martin Luther King Day, uh, a gentleman that uh, really exemplifies what a, a true hero is about and stood up for something he believed in and, and helped us get to this point. And certainly we all understand that uh, we still got a little ways to go, but we wouldn't be this far without a gentleman and, and a true hero like that. Uh, again, going back to our, our week last week, uh, very pleased with the way we responded against what I think is a, a very good, very physical, very tough Oral Roberts team. And you can see that as evidenced by them getting 16 offensive rebounds. And, and certainly for us, the way we responded the last five minutes of the first half and in the second half, it was very encouraging. Um, again, like I, like I mentioned after the game and, and have talked to our guys extensively about now that next step for us is is handling these successes. And, and again, uh, we have a big game coming up tomorrow night for a lot of reasons. Most importantly, it's a big game because it's the next game on our schedule, the next game for us to continue to improve and progress. I'll take questions. Hey, what's the difference between uh, the last time you guys played North Dakota for both squads and, and now? What, what have you noticed differently about your squad and about them? Yeah, going back, and certainly the first thing that comes to, to mind is the lineup change that we've made, you know, in, inserting Cameron Hunter into the lineup and, um, you know, s some of those things off the top. Uh, you know, they're, they're a scary group. You know, obviously, Connor Avance is a, is a big physical kid. I, I love that kid. I love the way he plays and competes. But, you know, the, when they went out the other night, they, they went smaller and had some guys at the five that can pick and pop that, that, give, that presents you different looks. Um, you know they're, they've got the capabilities of, of pressuring you, which 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 they did to us for a certain amount of times. But um, uh, you know, I mean, there, there's a lot of little different things. But you know, we're so locked into the conference this season, both of us, that it's important that we, you know, make note and learn from our mistakes in that last game because uh, th this game. Uh, it's a big one. It's a big one to a lot of people, and again, it's a big one for us because it's another opportunity for us to get better and progress. With a non-conference game in the middle of league play, does that give you an opportunity to maybe experiment a little more or try new things without the big league risk? Well, as much as this is North Dakota and, and it's a, an out-of-league game on a, on a Tuesday, part of it goes into uh, when Brian and I agreed to it is part, partly because of where we were last year. I think we were sitting 7-1 last year and had an off week, and, 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 and whether we got comfortable, whether we got out of rhythm, whether relaxed, whatever the term is, we just didn't respond the last back half of the year. And so I, I, I like where this game sits from that standpoint. Hopefully it keeps us in a rhythm and keeps us focused. It keeps us progressing. And you could go into February, I believe, we got another when we play Fort Wayne at home. We got, we got Mayville. And that, that was intentional on our part from a scheduling standpoint. You mentioned about kind of responding to success. What are you guys doing in practice to try to – stretch that out, make that last longer in game. Well, I think practice is building habits, and, and you, you carry over your good ones, certainly, but you also carry over your bad ones. And so we need to make sure that we're eliminating those 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 bad habits that, that we have. And, um, you know, we, I think I just figured it out. we got about 50 days. It's crazy how fast this thing goes. we got about 50 days left in the season, guaranteed. And so we need to take advantage of every opportunity to, to get better. And, and, and we talk about a process, and I think the big thing that we've been talking about is progressing through that progress. And practices is obviously a big opportunity for us to do that. AJ said the maturity level of this team has, has uh, grown, has, even from the last time you guys played North Dakota. Uh, are, are you seeing that as well? At times. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm greedy as the head coach. I want to see that a little bit more consistently. And I think that's that next step. I, I love this group. Absolutely. They're a joy to be around. And they're, they're very talented. They're tough. they got a tremendous competitive spirit. And I wouldn't trade any of those things for anything. But when, when you're young, which is an excuse, you understand that, but you can't accept that. And I think it's just my job to keep a close eye on just those little things that can compound and to be big things in a negative way. I know you talked about North Dakota and how they've been able to play the last couple of days. They're, they're coming off of a tough stretch, eight, eight straight losses and then back-to-back -back wins. You wish you could have caught them a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no question. They, you know, they've tweaked some things here and there and some lineup things here and there. And you're sitting there looking. That I can't remember when their last Division One win was going into this past weekend. And now, and I know those two teams that they played. Idaho State was playing better than they had in years past. Weber State had just come off a great win against Northern Colorado. So, uh, you know, the, the, they 
it's a rivalry game. We knew we, they were going to have our full attention. We were going to have theirs, vice versa. But it's even more so now that uh, on our in, antennas are even higher up just because of how they played the last this past weekend. Uh, how much how much focus are you putting on your shooting? Because it seemed like against Denver, the shooting wasn't wasn't quite there. And and then against Oral Roberts, you guys were able to knock down a few shots. How big is that uh, to get off to that good start shooting wise? I think the easy thing is to look at just the shots. Are they going in or are they, are they, are they not going in? And, and we are a very efficient offensive team when we understand the types of shots that we're good at, when those shots come within the possession. And that's the bigger thing for me. We, we have very talented offensive players just by putting five guys out there. It's my job to put them in the right spots and, and more so within a certain time of a game or of a shot clock to understand them, help them understand what types of shots they're, they're better at and from a percentage standpoints and I've tried to do more you know showing them numbers just actually giving them facts instead of oh, it's just coach up there talking about it you know just again I think it, it is uh, this generation in particular millennials are visual and, and if I can show those things and help them understand that um, all the better for us. When you're playing a team like North Dakota that loves to run the floor do you have to emphasize that a little bit more that take more of the shot clock so you're not lulled into I guess a more up-tempo game? Yeah, you know, I'm really that's a stigma a little bit with our program and in not necessarily one that I'm I'm in love with because I do you look at some of our our numbers we're very very effective in that first 8 to 10 seconds of a shot clock and so if we've got a opportunities I want to take full advantage of those but I, what what also compounds that is if you're going back to the, the the last question if you're taking bad shots you know if you're turning the ball over in in those first 8 seconds or whenever you do they are elite offensively and they make you pay uh, and they make you pay even on some of your makes but to me it's again the types of shots Shots that we're taking, the types of making passes that we recognize, and, and then certainly, you know, being just an all-out sprint to convert back. We we can't lag at all because, you know, most teams run off of you know missed shots or turnovers, whatever. They'll get it out and just whip that thing, and, and they pass the ball across half court, which is faster than a dribble. So we got to be back there and be set. And you know, going back and watching the second half in particular. You know, they, they just got us in, in transition. We were fouling and we were hacking and just turned it into a, that, that slugfest. That's not us. And so, again, that's a big part of what they do. So, they, again, that, that's got our, a lot of our attention, most, most definitely. AJ kind of mentioned after the Oral Roberts win how your defense turned into a lot of good offensive opportunities. How important is that to your guys' overall success? Well, I, th I think it's, it's, it's very important, and I'm, I'm very encouraged that they're listening because – Again, our numbers, our offensive numbers are very good. And, and just, again, this morning doing some more things, we can show them where we can be even more efficient. Offense isn't, not that we have a problem, but offense isn't the major issue right now. When we can, when we can be locked in defensively for 40 minutes and then create that separation, uh, that's, when, that's when we're really good. And, and again, I, I say it, um, all due respect to our guys and all guys across the country. You listen to games and commentators. You know it, it, it's part of your offense or your 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 defense affects your offense from a front runner's mentality. But also, again, to North Dakota's point, when you get, when you get stops and you can play in that open space, you're, you're just better.